Good evening, everyone. I'm Commandant Chev. Alex Collins has been debating for days to stay or go, and today he finally made his decision. Collins will forgo his senior season at Arkansas and declare for the 2016 NFL Draft. He announced his decision via an emotional letter, which you can read on KIT8.com. Collins is projected to be a second-round pick and is ranked anywhere from about the third to fifth best running back in the draft. He set the Razorback record with 20 rushing touchdowns this past season. Speaking of the NFL, the Redskins hosted the Packers in what was basically considered a pick'em game in Vegas. Early on, it looked like Kirk Cousins and the Red Hot Redskins would cruise to a win. Second quarter, Cousins hits Jordan Reed for the touchdown, 11-0 Washington. But here come the Packers. Just before the half, Aaron Rodgers to a wide open, Devontae Adams for the 17-11 lead. Then the Redskins retake the lead, 18-17, but in the third, James Starks on the toss, and he's in for the touchdown. Rachel, a Packers fan, she's very happy over there. Then in the fourth, Eddie Lacy with a TD of his own. The Packers rushing attack goes for 141 yards. The Packers win 35-18 and will play the Cardinals. Earlier, the Vikings taking on the Seahawks, 3-0 Vikings lead early in the third, and Doug Baldwin says, hey, Odell Beckham, I can make one-handed catches too but it wouldn't lead to points. The Vikings led 9-0 heading to the fourth. A botched snap, but Russell Wilson picks it up and runs around making a season-saving play with the completion to Tyler Lockett, who picks up a huge gain. That sets up Wilson to Baldwin for the touchdown. The Seahawks would add a field goal for a 10-9 lead. Same score, 29 seconds left. Blair Walsh, who already made a 47 and 43 yarder, misses the 27 yard chip shot. The Seahawks survive 10-9 and play the Panthers next week. To the NBA during our 5 p.m. newscast, Jordan asked me who I thought would win, the Grizzlies or Celtics. I went with Memphis. So I was watching the game. The Grizzlies were down by as much as 21 points in the third quarter. And Jordan, I was really regretting my pick. But all of a sudden, here comes Memphis. Zebo for three. And when this is going in, you know things are going right. He had 25 and 13. Then Tony Allen, the defensive star, with the steal. And he goes coast to coast for the dunk. The Grizz without Conley and lead down five with nine minutes left. 55 seconds left. A missed three, but Matt Barnes with the rebound and the putback for two. Memphis up 93-92. Five seconds left. Grizzlies up three, but they throw away the inbounds pass. Celtics with the three, but it's no good. The next three goes in, but after time had run out, the Grizzlies hang on 101-98, and so does my pick. The college hoops, the Red Bulls missed 14 straight shots to start the second half until Devin Carter helped lead them back from down 13. He scored a game-high 25. Sean Gardner came through with a game-winning three-point play here. You'll see it in a second. The Red Wolves win 71-69 over rival ULL as A-State goes to 4-0 in conference despite zero points from star Anthony Livingston. Coach Brady says Livingston has to move on from the quiet game. But in, at the end of the day, I got to get myself back up, coach the team. Even if we lose, win, whatever, the disappointment, I got to fight through that. Players have to do the same thing. All of you have to do that in your everyday life. It, it don't go your way. Lace them up, man. Give me another day to do it better. Good advice from Coach Brady. The ladies certainly can't do much better than they've done. They destroyed ULL 83-56. The Raging Cajuns were supposed to be one of the best teams in the Sun Belt, but A-State scored 27 points in the first quarter and never looked back. Khadija Brown Haywood had 25 points and 18 boards, while Amanda Lawson added 22 and 9. The Red Wolves moved to 4-0 in conference. The Razorbacks were also red hot yesterday, making 16 threes in the 82-68 win over Mississippi State. Jabril Durham dished out 12 assists as Anthlon Bell made five threes and scored 25. But Dusty Hannas was the biggest star with eight threes and 26 points. The Hogs improved to two and one in the SEC. And Jordan, college football national championship tomorrow. I think Alabama's going to beat Clemson. However, the line is six and a half. I think Clemson is going to cover that line. What do you think? Well, you think Alabama can't be beat, so I'm going for Clemson. Are they the okay. underdogs? They are, and you're probably going to be wrong. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I'm for Clemson, All so right, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, thanks, Coleman. Stick with us. We'll be back.